I commence by acknowledging that today this honourable court is convened on the traditional lands of the Nao people. Smile! Smile! Look at the photo there. Look. Oh, I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the pelican. <laughs> the pelican? No, the pelican. That's an alien. The pelican. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, but I, I always pray to this, you know. <laughs> and the father. Yeah. Why, why is today important? Of course it is. It's important to all of our family. This is ours. <laughs> this is ours. Yeah. <laughs> and you in our genealogy too. Yeah. I looked at it last night. Have I got my camera here? Yeah. 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 On behalf of Raymond Reacher, who's sadly passed away, Leroy, Leroy Reacher. On behalf of Cynthia Wheatra Buzzer, her daughter in law Heather. <laughs> Unfortunately, Pauline Branson can't be here. She's um, unwell in Adelaide. And I also acknowledge the passing of Marlene Heitwitra as the named applicants in this matter. But I also call uh, Jason Ramp. <laughs> Joanne Miller. And Kathy McCormack is unfortunately unable to be here, but Heather said she'd pick up the uh, judgment for her as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And Teresa Branson. Morning, everybody. Thanks for coming along. Um, <clears throat> I'll start off nervous. I'm a bit shaky there, but I won't shut me up on it. Um, I'd just like to. Take you back on the journey of the Mayo Native Title Claimant. But first, I've evacuated myself, Honey Marlene Heights, sitting down. She approached me with my mother and said, Come on, let's get into it. Um, with the uh, support from Dr. Doreen Catenary at that time. Um, that's how we evacuated, by sitting around in the house, 
at Marlene Heights house and uh, we started from there with their um, husband then, Peter Heights. We made him the secretary. But um, it all eventuated from that, that day onwards. So it wasn't actually, the handover was 28 years today, but it was about 32 years we started on it. And that's how long I've been on this journey. And on that journey, I met a lot of people, cousins, relations, that were on that journey with me are no longer here today. And I'd just like to acknowledge them. Um, I don't want to say their names and that, but the family group will know who I'm talking about. But also, we'll go back to the beginning, name the title, I'd like to thank them for getting on board with us. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be standing here today. Name the title was, we're very first um, at the Aboriginal Legal Rights Movement, so that's how long ago it was. And um, also I'd like to acknowledge Scott Kane that come along and sort of pushed us along, me, myself, my mother. He pushed my mother to keep forcing me to keep at it. So, thanks Scott. And then um, all, all along again, I'd like to thank everybody who's been on the journey with me. You know, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. And um, I'd just like to acknowledge people along the road as well. Some, you know, uh, Susan, thanks for, thanks for your support. Thanks for all that fighting. Thank you. All our lawyers, past, um, I'd like to put a big thank you to Michael Steele. He was really up there from the, uh, from the beginning with us. I had to go across. Hitchhike, Conway had to get across to Adelaide to go and see Michael sometimes to do some work with him. I'd have to wait till before my next stall day to get back home. So that was hard back then. Bianca, to come along on board. What can I say to you, Bianca? <coughs> You've done marvellous. You've brought us here. I know um, Beckworth has been on that journey with us. Oh, bloody hell, Bianca. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the last six months, she's brought us right here. And I think she should be proud of what she's done, not as a lawyer, but the way she presented it. And man, she's got balls. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, everybody else along the line, I just want to thank everybody, you know, from my sisters, my nephews, my cousins, Brenton, you know, we've done it, we're here. You know, and um, that's why I never read a speech. I don't want to, don't want to do a speech, I just want to talk from the heart. I think it's starting to hit me a bit, but yeah, let's go on. Um, yeah, just, what, and we couldn't pick a better day with the weather, it's beautiful. And I'd like to acknowledge, you know, the justice, for, thank you for doing what you had to do. Um, all the local governments, organisations around here, it's the end of the financial year, put in your budget that NAO is here, and we're here coming <laughs> to negotiate with you and talk business. So there's no excuses, this is a time Put in your budgets. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I guess if you can do two hands, two hands, then it will look like a lot of sand. Is All that right. okay? <laughs> so if you go, yeah, that would Certainly. look quite good. And then if you two both have your hands out together, yeah, so good. And you tell I me think when that's going to start. be good. Just wait for me to get with yep. you. <laughs> Hold that sand. Okay, hang on, I'll just... Congratulations to you both. It's a fantastic day. Charlie, how uh, uh, well? Charlie! Uh, 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 Sorry. Okay. 
Uh, so she's in the WA, which looks quite good, um, because obviously Debbie's had uh, a few cases just to free up the yeah, 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 of course. Applicant then the judge. Good, thank you. Hey. What? Jody, you want to get a photo too? Yeah, the applicant. Yeah, all the applicants. All the applicants and the judges have been camped. And what they will do is just the applicants. I don't know if you want to get a photo. I'm going to do this. It's just up there. Is it okay? He's just trying to find his mum.